Hello World Class from Barbecue. So I've been watching all these pizza videos and I've been thinking I should make a pizza and I've got a pizza stone for my grill and I don't really want to try that out and I still want to make a pizza. So I'm going to make a pizza. I'm going to use the oven and I'm going to use these really nifty pizza that plates that I bought in the States. Um, I think they're nifty anyway. I haven't tried them yet. Anyway, it's going to be a simple pizza. It's going to be some pepperoni, some ham, some cheese, some tomato sauce and well uh, some basil and some uh, jalapenos and first off i'm going to show you how i make my pizza sauce and then uh, i'm going to show you how i make my pizza dough and then i'll bring you back and for me that's going to be like 10 seconds because i already did those things see you in a bit okay so this is really simple we're just gonna chop up four tomatoes these are quite ripe two white onions two cloves of garlic a couple of sprigs of basil and then we're going to use some seasoning for this. We're going to use uh, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon ancho chili, one teaspoon gar uh, onion powder, garlic and onion. Oh, well, one of them is there. And then two teaspoons of oregano. Uh, and then we're just going to chop it in here. And in the pot, I have one tablespoon of butter to sweat the onion in. So I'm just going to chop this up and then I'll bring it back. Okay, so I chop this up. The onions are, well, you can see, it's not very finely diced. Just want it to be small enough to get some taste. The tomatoes, I cut them in chunks like this. I think that's gonna be good. I just chopped up the garlic into little pieces like that. It's gonna be fine. Because I'm gonna use an immersion blender for this once everything is boiled nice and soft. Anyway, so I'm gonna blanch this. Bring it back in a sec. So the onions are shiny, nice and shiny. I'm just gonna add the tomatoes in here and the garlic and the basil. And then we're gonna put the seasoning in here. You might not have noticed, but I'm not using any salt for this. That's because I usually think that pizza turns out a little bit salty. In part, to, to, if you use like yeah, smoked ham that is salted or if you have a salty cheese. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna let this start to simmer and then I'm gonna leave it on the simmer until they reach a consistency that I think is good enough. I'll bring it back in a bit. Okay, so this has been simmering for about 45 minutes and this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna use an immersion blender on this. So this is fairly easy, just blend it. Nicely pureed. Now I'm just gonna simmer it for another 45 minutes. So we're gonna make a very simple pizza dough. What we need is 50 grams of natural yeast or seven grams of instant yeast, which is a uh, satchel. We get, need half a deciliter of uh, olive oil. It's a fifth of a cup. We need three deciliters of lukewarm water. This is finger warm, just like so. Three deciliters is um, six fifths of a cup. Then I've got two teaspoons of garlic salt, just because I like it, and two teaspoons of sugar. And I stir this to get the yeast to dissolve a little bit. A few drops of olive oil in here. Once the yeast has dissolved, it's time to start adding the flour. This is um, seven deciliters or just under three cups uh, of flour. I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. And if it's not enough, I might add a little bit more. So I'm gonna add like a third to start with and just whisk it. We want a flexible dough once we're done. That's not gonna be sticky. And well, well you know, you've seen a pizza dough before. I fold it top of itself a few times then I like to dust my bread with a little bit of flour because then it's much easier to see if it proves anyway I'll bring it back in about 30 minutes time to do this so this is what we have this is risen to like two or maybe three times its size but as you all know making a pizza requires some Italian wine I've got a Masi Campo Fiorin uh, 50 it's um, a really good wine and we're gonna try that 
I don't have to try it. I know what it tastes like, but I'm going to have a little sip anyway. And it's going to tag take me along this pizza making trip. So, cheers. Mmm. I think that goes over there. And I can feel like Floyd for a day. So first off, we're going to get a little bit of flour on our table. Just like so. Going to flip this up, get it out of the bowl. Just going to fold this in some flour so that it gets to be workable. Start kneading it a little bit. I hope everyone knows that I'm Swedish. I'm not Italian, so I'm not in any way claiming that this is authentic. This is just the way. Well, you know, that's this is the way I do it. So this is enough dough for four pizzas. There we go. So let's see what we can do. Can't flip it, can't throw it, can't do anything. I can't shape it. And there we go. I think that's going to be good enough. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to try get this to cover everywhere. Like I said, no pro. Okay, it's not going to cover. That's okay. Doesn't really matter. I don't want it to hang over the sides either. So I need to learn how to make a round one, right? Okay. So there we go. I think that's good enough. This is an everyday pizza, right? Okay, so on this, we're going to be using a little bit of, remember this, the sauce. Looks good to me. And then on top of this, I'm going to put a little bit of cheese. This is a mild, kind of creamy cheese. You can use more or less any cheese you like. I like this because it's got, it's a hard cheese that has the, almost the consistency of a mozzarella. And I forgot to buy some mustard around in this store. Anyway, so we got a little bit of layer of that. And then of course we have to dress this. So we're gonna have a little bit of pepperoni. I would say something like so. And a little bit of this just smoked ham. Can put a little bit of that on there. A few basil leaves. I think this is good enough. And then I've got some pickled jalapenos. They're kind of hot. They're actually good tacos, but oh well. Just gonna put them on half of them because I'm just gonna make one at a time and I don't want to eat it all by myself. That's my side, that's Helen's side. Okay, so should just add a little bit of cheese on top of here because I like cheese. A little bit of cheese over there. Something like so. And then we're gonna add um, just a touch of oregano of this on this. Because you can't make a pizza without oregano in my world. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put this in the oven at about 275 Celsius, which is uh, more or less 550 Fahrenheit. Something like so. That's the hottest my oven can do. So I'll bring it back once it's done. See you in a bit. And there we go. Looks good to me. Okay, it's been a few minutes, so let's try this. I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, I don't have one of those wheels. So me. Still make a slice. I guess this actually would go work well to be one of those square pieces, but oh, well, I'm not gonna do that. There we go. One weight. And there we go. One without jalapeno. Don't take a picture. I'm going to try it. Okay, there we go. A little bit of an oven made pizza. It doesn't have to be very fancy every time. Let's try it. I must say, this is the best pizza I've had all day. That's really nice. Well, this is Friday. I'm going to enjoy my wine, enjoy my pizza, enjoy my wife. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.